find the general solution of the given system. So you're given dx dt equal this, dy dt equal this, and dz dt equal this. So first of all, you need to rewrite it in the standard form of x vector x prime. So basically, you take the leading coefficient of x, y, z and put it out into a matrix, then multiply it with vector x. Okay, then you find a minus lambda i. Let's call this matrix is matrix A. Then subtract it with lambda i. That will give you this one. Then find the determinant of this. So I'm gonna go down the column instead of going across the row. Okay. So I have one minus lambda times two minus lambda times negative one minus lambda minus zero. Okay. And then minus zero plus zero. Then set it equal to zero. Solve for lambda. You will get lambda equals one, negative one, and two. Okay. So here is all here is all your eigenvalues. With each eigenvalue, you will get an eigenvector. Okay. So let's uh, figure it out. For lambda equals one, plug it into here, into this matrix. You will get this matrix, and then augment it with zero. All right. So normally you would you would reduce this down to a base matrix. But I know that this will give me infinite solutions, so I'm not gonna do those matrices. Okay, so I'm gonna use this the second equations because this has zero one zero zero, so that means that k two equals zero, All right? Now let's see. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, this equation. Okay, so I have k two minus two k three equals zero. But since k2 equals 0, I have negative 2k2, negative 2k3 equals 0. Right? Negative 2k3 equals 0, and k3 is 0 again. So for k1 is every, everything. So if I choose k1 equals 1, you can choose whatever, whatever value for k1. But I like to choose the standard number, which is 1. Do not choose 0. All right, because it's gonna give you a new matrix. All right, so my vector k one is one zero zero. Okay. Now you are going to do the same thing for lambda equals negative one. Plug it into here, you will get a new matrix, which is this one. Okay, and then augment it with zero again. You would, normally you would reduce it down to a base matrix, but because our, our goal is to find what the unknowns are, so you can as you can see you have zero one zero zero. That means that, so that means that k two equals zero. So automatically, or very quickly, you can find k two equals zero. And then if I use the first equation, I got two k one minus k three equals zero because k2 is 0 so just ignore it then I solve for k3 that gives me 2k1 okay so choose k1 equals 1 that gives me k3 equals 2 you can choose whatever value for k1 as long as it's not 0 okay then my k2 my vector k2 is equal to 1 0 2 all right all right so you are going to repeat this process one more time for lambda equal to plug it into here then 5k so that will give you this let me move this up a little bit okay so here is your matrix augmented with zero okay now look so for this row you will get uh, let's see k3 whatever uh, k3 is everything so I'm going to use this one, so I have k2 equals 3k3, and if I choose k3 equals 1, that gives me that gives me 3 for k2. You can choose whatever value for k3, as long as it's not 0. Okay, then my, so I got k2 equals 3. Now I'm going to use the first equation. So negative k1 plus k2 minus k3 equals 0. So k1 equals k2 minus k3. So k1, uh, k2 is 
3 k 3 is 1 so I got k 1 equals 2 then my k vector k 3 is 2 3 1 right now here's the most important step which is writing your final solution so because you have three distinct real eigenvalues so your final solution will be written will be written in this form x factor x equals c1 times k1 factor k1 which is this 1 0 0 uh, over here then times e to the lambda 1t your lambda 1 is 1 so you have e to the t okay plus c2 k2 is 1 uh, 1 0 2 e to the lambda 2 t so lambda 2 is negative 1 that gives you e to the negative t plus c3 k3 which is this one 3 2 1 and then e to the 2 t because your lambda 3 is 2 right so that's your f that's your answer that's it if you find the video is helpful feel free to give it a like share and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.